sit on the gym. How's it going? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Amir Khan was here last week. Oh, right. No, I let him train. Yeah, that's funny. That's he, funny. He, he said, Do I have to go upstairs? I said, No, you can stay down here. <laughs> I, I, I don't care about stuff like that. I mean, it's just like when our fighters fight each other, we're both very competitive. That's it. Uh, uh, right now, we don't have any fights. No, no, there's no pressure, there's no tension. <laughs> but if Manny was fighting Mikey, that could change. <laughs> <laughs> and rumor has it that he would love to have that fight. Michael Garcia would love, love to have Manny Pacquiao. I would love that one too. Why don't y'all make the deal now? Uh, because I'm not his promoter. <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want to say introduce him? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's literally like five feet away from me. We can bring him over. <laughs> He's like, that's, uh, that's Aaron's job. And I, you know, I, I'm, uh, my job is getting Manny ready for whoever they put in front of me. Well, what do you think about uh, a possible I see uh, uh, Roman Chanko match. Uh, I would really like to see that. Maybe like two of the best fighter boxes in the world. In the world, it's a uh, very interesting fight. Um, that's a great match. I'm, I never had that one. I usually put fights like that together in my head, mm. but I haven't thought of that one yet. That, that is a great fight. Yeah. But uh, the other thing I will go with. Uh, um, you know, I always wanted him to fight. Lemon uh, Lemonchenko. Uh, Who? Uh, Pacquiao. No. Uh, the Cuban. Oh, uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux. Rigondeaux. How good is Rigondeaux? Rigondeaux is great, but he doesn't have a great chin. But he knows that and he protects it. He's he been he been down many times in like training and stuff like that. But he doesn't have a great chin. But he been down in, in, in a couple of times in fights and so forth. But he's a great puncher and he's like he sees better. He's he, Defensively, he's a genius. Um, what about about like, let's say, Lomachenko versus Gamboa? How would that play out? It would be great. I, you know, I, I couldn't pick a winner in that one, but I think it's, it's whoever shows up and has a good night, you know, but it's a great fight. You, you were saying Guillermo's been down a few times in training. You, you, you had him for a little while. I have him like seven fights. Yeah, he knocked away a 14 year old kid one time, but then, you know, and then he goes in the fight and then you know, kills his opponent. But, I mean, he's, um, you know, just, um, when I, but I think the best thing is that he's aware that he doesn't have a great chin. That's why he's, his defense is so sound. I mean, he, he is a great defensive fighter. I mean, he really is. But, you know, if you fight something that comes at him, he will counter punch and look great. But the thing is, the matchmakers are putting him in with other boxers, and he's just ordinary with other boxers because that's really, that's not what he does best. So.